Hey everybody, Mrs. Bianchi. The data shows the number of electoral votes that New York ha has had for, pre for president in each decade since 1912. Here's the data. Which box plot represents the data? So what I did is I took each of these and I put them in order from least to greatest. So here they are in order from least to greatest. You should write this down on your piece of paper, by the way, this list right here. We have 11 data points. So that means that the halfway mark, we would count five data points from the low end, five data points from the high end. So let's start from the low end. One, two, three, four, five. And from the high end, one, two, three, four, five. So that means that the number that's in the middle would be 43, and this is definitely the median. Now we should be able to eliminate some of the choices <clears throat> that don't show the median at 43. So if we look at this, sh the median is right here. That's showing at 43, so that's still a contender. This is showing the median at 43, so that's still a contender. This one is showing the median at 41. So that makes that a no right off the bat. And this is also showing the median at 41, so that's a no. So now we're down to A, choices A and B as possible contenders. Now, unfortunately, some textbook companies um, do not do the same thing that the Curriculum Associates textbook company does, which is sometimes people include the median when they consider the lower half of the data. Some textbook companies use the median when they look at the upper half of the data. So we're going to explore that idea of, of, of um, you know, which is this textbook company using. But typically what we do is we look at that lower half of the data, and we would typically look at just this, and we would say to ourselves that this number, the 33, would be in the middle of the red data, which we call the lower half. And then if we look at everything in this blue box, that would be considered the upper half of the data. And we have that one number <laughs> that's in the middle of the upper half of the data. <clears throat> now, if you look at choice A, the 33, that matches up with what we have here, and the 45, that matches up with what we have here. But we want to make sure we can definitely eliminate choice B, because the problem with choice B is the fact that if some textbook companies, what they do, and let me uh, delete this and delete this, and even move this out of the way, some textbook companies will have you include the median, include the median. So if we look at it that way, see that kind of gives you in the red box, we have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers. So then that would put the median here. And if we do that, that approach, we would put the line there. So even if we use that method, which I, I'm glad that Curriculum Associates and the iReady folks um, don't use this method, that kind of confirms that we should go with choice A, because even if we did find the average of these two numbers, would that match up with this? And if we a average these two numbers, would that match up? Well, it does match up with this, but it doesn't match up on this end. So that confirms it. We need to go with choice A.